Okay, so of course now we're here in front of the fridge and we're gonna talk about a little bit about how making that visible. So get yourself a whiteboard, get yourself uh, whatever you want. If you wanna put paper up, that's fine. I'm much more into you know reusable stuff. So we have a whiteboard um, or a chalkboard or something. Um, and then that's where you're gonna write. Either you're, you're gonna have your grocery list uh, continually going or you're going to be having your what's for dinner uh, list there or meals and stuff so everybody can see what's going on. And then inside, um, we're a little messy, but just know that that's basically what it is. So when you're gonna clean, make sure you wipe everything down with warm water or like lukewarm water, baking soda, clean everything up, get rid of any of the things that you might not use, and then away you go. Um, and then make sure that you can see what's inside. So your vegetables in containers up here, the Tupperware ones down here, make sure you can see uh, what, what um, food you might have. As you can see, I don't have a lot pushed in the back. It's just a few sauces and things like that. Might be in the back like the olives and things. Um, that's basically what I said, don't push too much to the back. Make sure it's just things that are either big and chunky and you don't go to very often, or that you know that's already there. So pickles and olives and stuff are back there. Uh, maybe some hot sauce, uh, things like that. And then at the top, again, same thing. So that's something I'm gonna be working on this week is actually cleaning up the top row because, or the top shelf, because that's the one that's the messiest right now. So I'm just like everybody else, but I realize I don't see what's back there, so it's got to go. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. But again, I'm gonna remind you, this isn't a challenge for you to get this all done at once. Um, it's for me, it's just about breaking it up into small bite-sized pieces, figuring out what you need to get done, and then going from there. And then you just kind of work one at a time. And then when you do it, you just keep the routine going so that you always know what's in your fridge or in your freezer or your pantry. Um, then when you're going to make a meal, you know what you have. When you're gonna go grocery shopping, you already know. Um, and just make it super simple for you.